I want to chat about work ethic and being successful in life in your career and some tips around that. But first, a couple of stories for you. I grew up in Oklahoma. My dad was an oil field worker and my mom was a bank teller. So blue collar family. My parents weren't perfect by any means, but one thing for sure they taught me was work ethic. <laughs> they taught me uh, not to embarrass myself, not to embarrass the family, always kick ass at work, etc. I watched both of them work their ass off basically their entire life. Laziness was not something that, uh, I mean, that word didn't even exist in my family. <laughs> so, <laughs> if I tried to lay around and watch TV in the evenings, my dad would jerk me up and we'd go pull weeds out in the garden, make sure the tomatoes were okay at seven o'clock at night. Anyway, I learned work ethic from an early age and that has followed me and helped me in my career. Now, this episode isn't about parenting, but I just wanted to set the stage for you. I have, I have worked hard my entire life to get to where I'm at. There's no trust funds or any of that in my family, no giant inheritance coming my way. Hey, for those of you that have that more power to you, I'm, I'm happy for you. But anyway, that's not happening over here on the urban uh, side of the family. So we had to work for everything we have. Recently, I was at a restaurant by myself having some lunch. There were a couple of young men over to my left. Couldn't help but hear the conversation. One of the guys was was joking around with his buddy, right? He was he was he was saying how he goofed off at work. He was making fun of his job. He was making fun of his boss. How he didn't really care. He was laughing about how he'd come in late or do these no call no shows for shifts. That's a whole other topic, by the way. That no call no show bullshit. I, I've done a whole other episode on that. But anyway, he was making fun of just all of it, right? How he didn't care and this and that. Now. I watched this, this young man's behavior. Here are some other things that I noticed. Number one, when he got up from his table uh, at the restaurant, he didn't push his chair in. Now, you may think that's a small thing, but just stay with me for a second. His napkin dropped on the floor. He saw it drop on the floor, didn't pick it up. The waitress was coming over as they were walking away from the table. He didn't acknowledge the waitress. He didn't say bye, thank you, nothing like that. Then he walked towards the door. I watched them walk out. An elderly couple was coming in. Do you think he held the door open for him? Nope. <laughs> I just, I watched all of this young man's behavior. Now, what I think is funny with, with people sometimes, especially younger folks in their career, they'll say things like, and I've heard them say things like, well, this is just a temporary job. And when I get a real job, then I'll take it seriously. <laughs> this is just my job at Target while I'm going to school. And when I get out of college and I get my first real job, then I'll work hard. Then I'll take it seriously. I've heard people say that. And this young man reminded me of that, right? Almost like he was telling his buddy, like, hey, isn't this funny how I just goof off at work now? But later on, I'll change and I'll be a good worker. and all be successful. <sighs> Do I think people can change? Yeah, sure. I, I'm not saying people can't change, but I am here to say that I think habits are very hard to break and it doesn't happen overnight, especially work ethic habits. You don't just go from being an asshole employee that's lazy to a superstar employee overnight. <laughs> I've never seen that before. In fact, I don't know anybody in my professional life at the age of 54, all the people I've ever known, I can't name one single person that I knew that used to goof off and be an asshole jerk employee and then just like became super successful. <laughs> I, I can't name one. I can't think of anybody. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I'm saying it's rare. And I'm saying it's super hard to change and it's super hard to break habits. Do yourself a favor. Be the best that you can be right now and learn the right habits to kick ass in your career or your job or whatever it is. And it will help you later on. 
If you're a stalker at a convenience store, if you're a stock boy, then be the best stalker. Okay. If you're a clerk, be the best clerk, ring people up the fastest and be the most efficient. If you sell door-to-door -door cable, then sell the most cable next month. Win the monthly sales award and be proud of that. Yeah. Maybe you're not going to sell cable your whole life, but learn how to kick ass, learn how to sell, enjoy it. Make yourself proud. Don't embarrass yourself, right? If you're going to be a store manager in retail, then be the best store manager in the district. Kick ass. By the way, all those jobs I just named, I did all those <laughs> when I was a young man. Guess what? I did win the award for the most door-to-door -door cable sales at one point. And I was a damn good stocker at the convenience store I worked in in high school and college. And I was a great store manager because I ended up becoming a district manager. I'm not, this, the episode's not for me to brag. My point is, I went on to be a CEO of a couple of $40 million companies, and now I run my own business. Do you think that was by accident? You think I was just like a shitty employee that goofed off at work all the time my whole life, and then poof, I became a CEO? <laughs> no, that's not how it happened. I learned from an early age, all the way back to when my dad threatened to whoop my ass because I wouldn't stay long enough on a Friday to fix some fence out in the pasture. I learned from an early on that, that work ethic mattered. You better do the right thing. And it, it has helped me in life. And I think it would help more younger people, especially today. Maybe I'm just being, you know, an old curmudgeon or whatever, but I see it a lot. I see people goofing off a lot today. They don't take these jobs seriously. It doesn't feel the same. But I learned way early on to make sure you had the right attitude and you treat people the right way and you do the right thing and you kick ass. And by the way, build relationships. You never know who you're going to meet along the way. That manager at Target that you might have, let, let's say you're a clerk at Target, right? There's a store manager there. You might need that, that lady for a reference someday. You might need her for a relationship. Maybe she goes on to work somewhere else and she hires you. Who knows? Relationships matter. Reputation matters. Make sure you get your shit together now. Be the best you can be right now. Now, one more thing on this topic special note here for you aspiring entrepreneurs. This, this really applies to aspiring entrepreneurs. If you're a young person, when I say young, I'm, let's just call it anywhere between 18 and 30. Okay. If you're anywhere in there and you want to be an entrepreneur, you want to own your own business someday. And right now you're working somewhere goofing off. Think about it for a minute. Just let that sink in for a minute. When you own your own business, when you own your own store, when you own your own restaurant, when you own your own software company, do you want employees that are going to goof off and take advantage of you, rob you uh, of payroll minutes? I mean, is that, what, is that how you want to be treated when you own your business? So especially if you're an aspiring entrepreneur, if you sit around thinking of talking about owning your own business someday, but then you get up and go over to your job at the Sonic and dick around all day and don't do anything like, come on, man. I mean, do the right thing now and it will reward you later on in life. And it will teach you how to be successful. And there is your rider flex tip of the day.